Today I messed up by going to my Airbnb a day early and scaring the shit out of the host and other guests. I booked an Airbnb for one night, tonight, for my husband and I received the confirmation and let the host know we would be there to check in around 8pm we get the instructions to let ourselves in using the keypad, room up the stairs to the left blah blah. While en route, I even updated the host that we would be there just after 8pm as we're eating dinner nearby and would head there after. After sending the message my phone died, but not before my husband got a photo of the keypad code and address. We find the house and let ourselves in using the keypad and get settled in the room. As I'm laying in the bed in my embarrassing pajamas, old as hell shorts and baggy t-shirt, and my husband is brushing his teeth in his boxers we hear a knock on the door, the bedroom door opens to reveal a very surprised host asking me who I am and how I got in. I stupidly grin and tell him my name and that it's a pleasure to meet him, even in my ugly ass PJs. He asks again why I am there, my husband wasn't visible, he was hiding behind the door, and I told him I booked the room for tonight. It turns out I had booked it for tomorrow by mistake and when my phone died I wasn't able to see his response which was, great, see you tomorrow. I have never left a room so fast in my life. We had to leave because the room was booked by two guests who were also standing outside the door. The host was very nice and asked if we were going to be okay finding another place. I yelled, yes. Running down the stairs and trying to avoid the uncomfortable gaze of the poor couple watching my raggedy ass leave their booked room after using towels and all the damn bedding. I'm writing this from the hotel we eventually found. Too long. Didn't read. Showed up a day early to an Airbnb, host and actual guest terrified as Harry Troll leaves their room soiled. Today I messed up by exposing my parents' inside joke about Bob to Bob. I come from a gaming family. My dad, my mom, my brother, and myself are all very into video games and have been forever. My parents boast that they bought a first-generation Atari and have been avid gamers ever since. While I was growing up, my parents had this little way of teasing us. Let's say you're doing poorly in a game and you're whining and pushing the blame off like ah, man, something's wrong with my controller. I swear. My parents would giggle at each other and say oh, so you've got a bob controller? I can't properly convey how many times I heard joke this growing up. It was a snap response from both of them every single time we complained about our controller. Something's wrong with the A button. Bob controller. It's not your fault, the joystick was stuck? Bob controller. One day, I made one of my parents explain the joke. Before any of us kids were born, my mom and dad played video games with one of their couple friends, Bob and Jane. Anytime Bob would do poorly, he'd blame the controller. They thought it was hilarious. In my brain, this was all a big open joke in their friend group. Haha, <laughs> oh, Bob, you're always blaming the controller you rascal. Um, not so. So, fast forward to present day and I'm helping my dad with a carpentry project outside. A car pulls up that I don't recognize. A couple gets out, lo and behold, it's Bob and Jane. Surprise! Back in town after 30 years to pay a visit. So my mom and dad are chatting with them about old times, and I'm hanging around listening. I'm only 24, so this is the first time I've ever met Bob and Jane. Eventually, the conversation shifts to video games. Oh yeah, I say, I've heard all about the Bob controller. My mother's face goes pale. Oh. The what? Bob says for some reason, my brain short circuits and I start fumbling through sentences trying to further explain my parents' joke and how they used to tease us about our Bob controllers. The whole time, my mother's eyes keep widening. I keep hoping a vaudeville hook will appear and yank me off of this horrible stage I've put myself on. My mom's expression is flaming. She is standing behind Bob and actively shaking her head like please, for the love of everything, stop talking. At this point, my dad has abandoned ship and is poking at his finished carpentry project like maybe he can find something else to sand to get him out of this situation. I eventually contain my word vomit and Bob and Jane look at mom for an explanation. To her credit, she fully owned up to the joke and explained it. They all uncomfortably laugh and move on with the conversation while I shrink back into the house. To spare my life, I dodge my mother the next day and fly down the highway back to my college town without bringing it up. Anyway, always clarify to your kids what's an inside joke between you as a couple. They just might meet Bob one day. Too long. Didn't read. My parents used.
to make jokes that any broken controller was a Bob controller. I brought it up in front of Bob. Bob didn't know. Bob Today I messed up by letting my boyfriend cook. My boyfriend, 21, was having a group of friends over this evening for dinner and drinks and we thought it would be fun to make mulled wine to go along with the dinner that someone else was bringing for the group. It was a pretty standard recipe for mulled wine, cinnamon, juice, cloves, etc. I was working all day, so he was tasked with doing the grocery shopping and preparing for the drink. Instead of buying cloves. He read the ingredients and one, thought that cloves meant garlic cloves and two, thought that a clove of garlic was an entire bulb. Thankfully, he didn't start making the mulled wine until some of his friends had already arrived and one of them asked him what the hell he thought he was doing trying to add 16 bulbs of garlic to a double batch of mulled wine. He ended up making the drink without any cloves because we obviously didn't have any, so it still turned out okay. But now we have to figure out what to do with a whole bag of garlic bulbs. Too long. Didn't read. Boyfriend almost served garlic wine to our guests, now we just have a lot of garlic.